monster game. You guys seem to have it in control. And then, of course, they push in the fourth quarter, took a lead, then took it to overtime. What were you guys talking about stretching through that overtime and fighting for the win? They're a very good team with a very good coach. Um, and those guys are some fighters. You know, they're very talented and resilient. We knew that they continue to fight without Al there. Uh, we expected that uh, Bud would put a lineup out there, would try to speed it up and allow T to uh, create on the, on the floor. So we just knew we had to stay with it um, because this is a, a tough game. This is a very, very important game for them. And uh, luckily for us, we came out with the W. You've been in so many crunch time situations with LeBron between Miami and here, but seeing him tonight fight through the cramps that David Blatt said he had and other injuries, hit those two big shots in overtime. What do you see when you watch him do that? You just know. I mean, he's eventually, he's relentless. He's going to continue to go. And uh, even when it starts to look a little shaky, you know that he's getting ready to push it to another level. And so that kind of calms us. And, and tonight we needed that because uh, we got up pretty, uh, pretty good. Got a little stagnant and, and they went on a run. But all in all, I think uh, we were gritty enough to pull out a big win. The Hawks were pretty vocal about being unhappy with your teammate, Matthew Delavadova. How do you guys see him and the way he plays out there? He plays hard. You know, I, I, people, you, I think sometimes because it's uncommon for guys to go out there and lay it on the line every single possession and every facet of the game, it's kind of shocking at first. Uh, but you look at it, Delhi's the guy that's boxing out. He's the guy that's sinking, feeling. He's down there fighting amongst the trees and he gets no credit no love but we we know how valuable that is to us and we respect it does he practice like he does without a doubt you know it's you know everyone knows that that's where you're made and that's where you build your habits your principles delhi helps us do that every day in practice because he, he doesn't let up a single play james you, you've gone in, you've gone into game close out games Take us through what kind of resolve it will take for this team to close, this, close the Hawks out on the next game. You just have to get to four. Um, however you get to four, you have to get to four. Um, but you know if it's either game four, game five, game six, or game seven, it's going to be the hardest game of the series. Those guys uh, have their season on the brink, and they're competitors, so they're going to bring it. James, how do you process a game like this where so you fall down early and go up big late? And You take it one play, one half, one quarter at a time. You know, we had our runs, but at the end of the day, we have to look at the, the scoreboard at the end of the quarter, the end of the half, the end of the third, end of the fourth, and say, did we, you know, have momentum close in that quarter? And I think that's what we did tonight, and that's the reason we came out with a win. You see LeBron miss his first 10 shots and still finish with the kind of numbers he did and everything else. Has it, who ever seen him go through anything quite like this in a single night? I mean, he's, he's played so many games. I'm pretty sure he's had games where he started 0 for 10, 0 for 8, 0 for 9. Uh, but you just know he's not going to stop. And you just have to continue to trust that he'll finally make the right pass, that he'll make the shots when we need them. And that's what he did. Was there any point in there where he himself actually said, you know what, guys, maybe I don't have it, like, kind of, you know, I'm going to facilitate for a while? Was there a, a, a tip? Or a... I mean, if you watch the game, I think he was relentless the entire game. So we, we need him to be that way. And, and that's what he does for us.